remote IT support, as we know, is probably completely dead at this point, thanks to powerful AI systems that can completely watch your screen and then help you in every single step. And the best part is there is no human on the other side for you to be embarrassed by the question that you ask or there is no human for which you have to pay money. How are they doing this? This is a video tutorial where I'm going to show you how you can use Google AI Studios streaming API and then answer questions based on what is displayed on the screen. We are going to try to complete few uh, tasks which are going to be like a beginner level internet task and then see how Google's Gemini streaming API or what they call a stream real time can help us. First of all, it is very easy for you to get started. All you have to do is go to aistudio.google.com and then log in. If you have got an active Google account, then you can log in without paying any single penny. I mean, of course, like what Google does with your data is totally different philosophical discussion. But if you have already submitted your data to Google, this is one more login to use Google. After you have logged in, this is the place where you can go see a bunch of other options. So you can see like in case if it doesn't open there. So there is this small sidebar on the bottom left. And once you click it, you can see create prompt stream real time starter apps. I'm going to go click stream real time. And when I do stream real time, I've got like three different options. Talk to Gemini, show Gemini, share your screen. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to share our screen with Gemini and then see if we can complete a bunch of tasks. So I'm going to click share your screen and you can also select the model. In this case, if you select stream real time, the only model that you're going to get is Gemini 2.0 flash experimental. So share your screen. Once you do that, it basically is going to give you which screen do you want to select? I'm going to select the entire screen and I'm going to go ahead with this screen too. So at this point, I'm going to click share and I'm going to let it access my microphone. So allow the microphone. Okay. Do you have access to my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It shows the Google AI Studio. Is there anything you would like to discuss? About? See, I've got a YouTube page, but I want to learn how to subscribe to a channel. For example, in this particular case, I want to subscribe to Greg Kamrad's channel in this case. I see you have a YouTube page. Subscribe to Greg Kamrad. Yep. To do that, you're to do that, you need to first navigate to their channel page, which can be done by searching for their channel name in the search bar at the top of the page. Once you're on their channel page, you will can, see can you subscriber. Can you just wait until I finish the first step, then you can guide me to the second one? Sure, I'll wait until you are done with the first step of searching for the channel, then I can help guide you with the next one. Can you tell me how do I enter his channel right now? I've just searched for his name at this point. Okay, now that you've searched for Greg Cam, you just need to click on the channel that appears at the top of the results with the name Greg Camrat and the handle at data independent. Okay. That will bring you to his channel page. Then I'm I hope I'm inside the channel right now. So you are on the channel page now. You can confirm that by looking at the top of the page, which shows the channel name, Greg Camrat. Now to subscribe, just click the subscribe button that's right below the channel. Can you check if I have subscribed correctly? Yes, I can see that you have successfully subscribed to Greg Camrat's channel. The subscribe button now says subscribe. That is, is there anything else I can do? Yeah, uh, I've, I've uh, tried to write an email. Uh, I'm very new to this. I do not know how to make the great in this email uh, to have a yellow color background. Okay, I see that you want to change the background color of the word great in your email. To do this, you'll need to highlight the word great and then select the background color tool and pick yellow as the color. I'm sorry, I don't know where it is. Okay, no problem. I'll explain further. Mm -hmm. You can highlight the word great by clicking and dragging your mouse over it. Okay. Once it's highlighted, look for the text color or highlight color icon, which is typically represented by a small paint can or a letter A with a color bar underneath. It is in the formatting toolbar above the Um. Is this the one where I can highlight the color? No, the icon you are pointing to is for changing the font. Okay. To highlight the color. Is this the one where I can highlight the color? No, that icon is to underline the text. Oh, I'm sorry. The icon to highlight the color. No problem. The icon you are looking for is the one with the letter A and the colored bar underneath. 
Can you just give me a reference where it is probably? Okay, I can give you a reference. Looking at the toolbar just above where you're the fifth on the left. It looks like a capital A with a small color. Oh, yeah, I clicked it. Then what do I do next? Now that you clicked it, you can see a color palette. You can click on the yellow color, make the background of the word great yellow. Oh, I clicked the yellow color, but you know, instead of background, the text became yellow. What do I do now? You're right, my apologies. It looks like you selected the text instead of the background. To change the background color, you click on the color icon. Okay. And then on the bottom. Okay, now to change the background color, you need to click on the image bucket icon. On the left of the text color option you just clicked on. It should be the fourth from the left of the toolbar. After that, you can select yellow color from the color palette. Okay. Um, how do I change so that font color? I mean, if you see my font color, it is almost invisible at this point, as you can see. Okay, I understand. To change the font color, you'll need to highlight the text. Then click on the text color icon, which you already have. It's the fifth icon from the left in the formatting toolbar. And it is the icon with the letter A and the bar beneath. From there, you can pick a new color. Great. So as you can see, we have successfully finished two jobs that are completely beginner level, which I assume that it is a beginner level task. And then without any single IT support, I don't know how many of you are old enough to remember that uh, people used to use Steam Viewer to remotely control your desktop or sometimes see what is on your desktop and then help you with a certain task. I've done this multiple times when I was at my graduation uh, university where I used to do a very small business. I used to sell software boxes for mobile phones and people had no clue what to do. So I used to literally get on a call, tell them to install TeamViewer. Like sometimes I would go to their place, install TeamViewer and come back to my college and then show them every single thing that they should do. And I think in 2024, the fact that you can show everything to AI without a single issue and then it can read your screen, understand your screen, do OCR on your screen and give you an answer back is completely insane. And that is all thanks to this new service from Google. I think OpenAI has a similar service, um, if I understand correctly. I'm not sure if it is exclusive for ChatGPT Plus users, but if you use Google, it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, you can go ahead and then do everything by yourself without having to either hire an IT support person or in fact, having to employ an IT support person if you're a small business. I think this is going to be revolutionary for the entire IT support. And if you are actually in an IT support where you act help people with the basic mundane task, I think you should definitely think what you want to do with your career because probably the days are numbered. I'm not trying to scare you out. I'm just telling you the fact what is there in, um, in the world right now happening. I hope this was helpful to you and uh, see you in another video. Happy prompting.